The video you're about to see is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out these two apps here, Simple Mod Manager and Simple Mod Downloader. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we have the two apps, the Simple Mod Manager and the Simple Mod Downloader. The Simple Mod Manager is the main app that we will be using on the Switch. And this app allows you to add mods to your games. Kind of what like Edison is, that you can add cheats. This one allows you to add mods, um, enable them or disable them. And then you can have this paired with your setup, the Simple Mod Downloader. Because with this app, you can use on your Switch to download the mods directly from online and it automatically puts them with the simple mod manager and they work together in that sense, which I'll be showing later on in the video and everything is done through the switch. So that's what we're going to be doing today and we're going to test them out. Okay. So now we need to download these two files. So if you look in the description down below, there's going to be several links and the two that you're looking for should say download the simple mod manager here and the other will be download the simple mod downloader here. Once you click on those two links, it should take you to the GitHub release pages. And for here, Simple Mod Manager, just look under Assets and click this first link, the .nro, and start the download process. The same thing will be for the Simple Mod Downloader. And just click on this first link here and start the download. Once you're done, you can have them move to the desktop like I have done already. Okay, so now what we can do is open up our SD card. And it doesn't matter how you open up your SD card as long as you're able to transfer your files successfully. In this video, I'm using the DBI installer app and I'm able to access my SD card with the switch to USB to PC. Now, with that being said, let's enter the SD card. And just to let y'all know that you do need custom firmware already set up on your SD card switch in order for any of this to work. So if you have that, then we can continue. And if you don't, you can leave a comment and I can guide you to places where you can update your custom firmware and things like that. But let's just move on. So in the SD card, you need to look for the switch folder. And once you find that, these two files go inside the switch folder. So you can highlight both of them and then put them inside the switch folder. And you can let the, the DBI do its thing. It's going into the switch folder. And if you want to be just in case to see if they went inside, you can enter the switch folder and they should be down here. Simple mod downloader, simple mod manager. Now we're done with the SD card and we can go ahead and try it out the mod manager and the downloader so we're going to check that out on the switch i will catch up to you when i change to the switch view okay so once you're here on the switch in order to get to those apps you need to go into the hp menu now before i show you that i would highly recommend that you use the hp menu without applet mode so if you were to go into the hp menu here you're entering with applet mode and that doesn't allow you to use the full power of the switch and you could have some issues. It might work, but it might not. But for sure it does work if you're in the HB menu without Apple mode. And here is how I enter it. So if you don't have this folder, you can leave a comment down below and I can possibly help you out with that. So I enter the HB menu here. You're going to see the top right corner of the screen is not Apple mode. And this is where you need to be. So here in the HP menu, we can go ahead and scroll till we find the simple mod manager and the simple mod downloader. But what we're going to do first is we're going to check out the simple mod manager. And then after that, I'll explain what the simple mod downloader does in order to help. So that way we don't need to um, constantly go back into the SD card. So let's check that out. Okay. So once you enter the simple mod manager here, you have the game browser and right next to it, it says there's no game folders that have been found in the forward slash mods. That's because we haven't added any mods yet. So if you look on the bottom real quick, it says to add the mods, you need to add them and copy them such as this, the mod folder, the mod name of the game, the name of the mod and things like that. So this is the directory that you would need if you want to add the mods yourself manually. So this is where the other app comes in, which is the mod downloader. Now the mod downloader will allow you to access from Wi-Fi and it looks at a source from the game banana website and it'll allow you to download the mods from there. So let's go ahead and check out the other uh, apps so that way we can start downloading some mods. 
Okay, so once you get out of the mod manager, you can go back into the HB menu and locate the simple mod download. But before I enter this app, I would like to mention that in order for this app to work, you need to have an internet connection because we're going to be downloading from a, the Game Banana database and that's where it pulls the mods from. So if you don't have an internet connection, then it will not work for you. That being said, if you want to have an internet connection and also be safe, because I know uh, you may have heard that using the inter internet connection is a big no-no, you can have the some type of protections in place. So I like to use uh, a file called Exosphere. And if you're using my custom former pack, then you already have Exosphere. But those of you that might not have any protection that care about being banned, then uh, you would have to use something like that. So just wanted to let you all know that before I enter or before we use the app and uh, use it like that. So I have internet connection. Now I'm going to use the app. Once you enter the simple mod downloader, there's going to be a downloads tab here. Inside this tab, you should be able to see all the games that you already have installed on your Switch. So if you have good internet connection, you should be able to enter any one of your games and see if there's any mods available. So for example, I'm going to enter the Super Mario Bros. Wonder and see what kind of mods they have. So once I enter it, it should have a mod list. And here we do have the mods for Mario Wonder. So before I check any mods out, I wanted to show you that once you reach the bottom of the list, that's usually not the end of the list of mods. It's just the end of the page. And you can change pages with left and right shoulder buttons. I'm going to change to the next page. And here it populated more mods for me. So I guess it depends on the game and the availability of how many mods it has. I'm going to change another page and there are at least three pages for the Mario Wonder. I don't know how many pages there are, but just to keep the video going, I wanted to also explain how cool this downloader app is because once you enter a mod that you like, like say for example, the Among Us crewmate, you can actually check to see what it looks like before you use it. So let's go ahead and enter this mod. And here we have the download links available. Before I get into that, I want to scroll down and show you all that in the middle that there's a description that says what the mod is. In this case, it says there's an imposter among among the Mario crew. A red crewmate is now available for download. And there, there's going to be a description like that for every uh, mod that are available to download. So you can also view the images as well in this uh, option here. So once I click on that, we should be able to see what this mod looks like. So there you can see that there's a crewmate inside the game. And if I change to the next picture, you'll see that there is a red crewmate. It looks like it's over Nabbit. I think that's the name of the character. And if you want to play as a crewmate, there you go. You can uh, change that. So I think you can click back to get. Oh, it took me all the way out. Um, well, I guess let me go look for the crewmate again since we're on that subject. So let's say you want the mod that you choose. You're going to enter the mod and here you have download links. If you have multiple ones, I would suggest that you do the top one. That would be the latest one available. You can see here the date is 1028 and here is 1107. So the this is the most updated mod and this is the one that you're going to want. So let's try it out. I'm going to enter this, start the download process. After download is complete, it's starting the extraction process. And what's cool about this app is that it automatically sends it to the um, mod manager. So let's go ahead and check that out. It says extraction is complete. To install the mod, go to the installation tab. Just click OK. And here on the simple mod downloader, if we go to this tab here that says installation, it says now to install your mods, you need to go into the simple mod manager. So what's cool about this is that once you click here, it's going to take you to the mod manager and there you can install your mods. So let's go ahead and do that before I add any more to test them out. So let's launch the super, uh, super simple mod manager. And here it has now in the game browser, it didn't have anything before, but now it created the directories for us for this mod. And now we have the Super Mario Bros. Wonder. So here, let's uh, enter it. And here you should see all the mods that you have for this um, for this game or for your game. So we have the Among Us crewmate here. It says it's unchecked. We just need to click on A to apply this mod. You want to install it? Click on yes. It starts installing the mod and then it checks to see if the mod is actually okay and it should work. So it says here applying the mod. And then now it says uh, checking the applied mod. And once it says active, that means the mod should be ready to go and ready to use.
So there we go. If you want to remove your mod, you can click on disable and then you can uh, click on yes and it will turn off the mod for you. So we have it active. If we go into the game right now to see if it's active, we should be able to see the Among Us crewmate now. So let's go ahead and try that out. Okay, so I don't have any audio on right now because I'm not sure if I'll get in trouble with it, but um, we can still check to see if the mod is working. So I'm going to go ahead and enter it. And I haven't even started playing this <laughs> game yet, but we, the mod should still work. So I'm going to enter the new game and let's see one player and let's see what the characters are. And there it is. We have a crewmate as over Nebit. So that's how the mod works. It's active and it's working for me here. So if I enter it, and see if it'll play without any crashing should work just fine and there we go the game starts just fine and we have a crewmate in the mario world here but there you go that's how it looks like and i will most likely do more gameplay probably with my son so you can see multiple mods running together and that will be on the second channel. So most likely I'll leave a link on the second channel uh, to the second channel in the description down below. So you can check that out. OK, so everything seems to be working just fine. We did the download of the mod. We installed it and we checked to see if it's working on the game, which it was. Now I want to show you where the mods are on the SD card. So if you open up your SD card, you should have now a new folder on the root of your SD card. It's going to be called mods. And if you enter this folder, you should have all the game folders of the mods you downloaded for. So in this case, I only did one mod and it created the directory for Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And if I enter this, I should see all the mods that I downloaded, which I only did one. But the reason why I'm showing you all this is because in case you want to get rid of the mod and save some space, you can go deactivate the mod from the mod manager and then you can come back here and delete the mod. Also, for those of you that want to do this manually, I thought this was an easier option because if you use the mod manager and the downloader, it'll create the directories for you. And once you have all the game directories for you made, then you can go to the website on your PC. If you want to do it manually, you can go there and download the mods from the website. And then you can come back to the SD card. And since the directory was already made for you, you can just extract your mods already inside those folders. So I thought it was easier for everybody to just use these two apps. And if you just want to use the apps just to create the directories, because it's a little bit confusing to create the directory and, and it won't work so easily. So I know I'm rambling, but I just wanted to make it easier for everybody. So if you choose not to use the downloader app, I would suggest using it maybe just to create the directories and then um, just go ahead and go to your PC and download the mods there. But if it's confusing for you and you want me to do it manually, I can show you all in another video. And that's pretty much it. Everything is working for me and I hope everything is working for you as well. But of course, if it's not, you can leave a comment down below and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. Of course, you can leave a comment as well of it working because I like to see that too. And also let me know what kind of mods that you're using for which game. But hope it's working for y'all. And thank you everybody that's been real supportive of the channel. I really appreciate everybody's kind words and donations towards the channel. I really appreciate it. It helps a lot. So thank you for watching. I love y'all. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.